Coming up on this week's news, people should know. Bible literacy class in school. Welcome. I am Joel A. Nance. I don't have the heart to report the passing of one of the great soul karunas of the 80s, James Ingram. He has been known for his romantic quiet storm hits like Just Once and 100 Ways. James Ingram collaborated with artists like the late Barry White, Albie Shure, and El DeBarge on the fan favorite Secret Garden, and Baby Comes to Me with Patty Austin. Ingram became Quincy Jones' go-to singer, writer for 10 years. He rewrote Michael Jackson's PYT and performed a theme song somewhere out there with Linda Ronstadt for the movie American Tale. James was 66 years old. Donald Trump would support the option of allowing students to study the Bible as an elective literacy class. Trump appeared to endorse legislators in several states like Florida, Indiana, and West Virginia to allow public schools to present Bible literacy as an elective class. However, the American Civil Liberties Union and other critics argue with the First Amendment of the separation of church and state. Kentucky Public Schools is one state that did allow its students to take Bible and Hebrew scripture classes. But after an Open Roads Records Act investigation found that many of the courses violated constitutional requirements like being secular, objective, and not promote a particular religious view. A year ago, the Kentucky Board of Education approved standards for the Bible literacy classes. However, ACLU is still concerned with what is being taught. In health news, 10 signs and symptoms you may have iron deficiency. Fatigue, difficulty focusing, crazy sore muscles, apathy or lack of interest, brittle nails, unusual pale skin, pink or red urine, frequent sickness, trouble working out, or breathlessness. But here are a few iron-rich foods to consider that can help besides an iron supplement. Chicken, liver, broccoli, beef or pork, oatmeal, raisins, and spinach. Thanks for watching News People Should Know. I'm Jolay Nance. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. You can send an email to mupixo at gmail.com.